Okay, continuing on that red slice, we're going to be looking at normal distribution word problems. And so, after you read about so many of these, they begin to start to look alike. So one of the hardest skills here in the assessment is to keep these straight, because so far we've got the, uh, got the ones where we have the raw scores, we've got the mean and deviation of a standard uh, normal distribution, and now we have normal distribution word problems. They're all quite similar, so let's be cautious and read carefully. Now suppose that pulse rates among healthy adults are normally distributed with a mean of 80 and a standard deviation of 8. Okay, so are they telling us enough information about um, our normally distributed values that we can set up our chart as we've done before? Uh, and then they ask this question, what proportion, what proportion of healthy adults have pulse rates that are at most 68 beats per second? So there we have it. Let's go over to our notes and, uh, and make a few make a few notes here, kind of keep track of that, and here we go. Let's look at our notes. Now notice here we got a mean of 80, a standard deviation of 8. So as before, we have our z-scores here. We've got a mean of 80, so as we start looking at our x-scores, our 80 is in the middle, and we have a standard deviation of 8. So we can go by 8s here. So 80 plus 8 is 88, plus 8 would be 96. Going the other way, this would be 72, and 64, and so on. We could do them all, but that's probably enough for now. Let's go back and see what else we got going on here. Now they say, what proportion? Now when they say that, proportion, they are asking us what is the area under the curve because when they say proportion here they're basically asking for a fraction expressed as a decimal and in this case we're talking about a decimal uh, that represents this area under the curve what proportion what area under the curve for healthy adults that have pulse rates that are at most at most 68 in other words uh, that says that the 68 is the biggest that it can be. So let's go in here and take a look at our notes once again. So what we'll do here is uh, we'll take a look at this 68. And so here's 64, here's 72, and so 68 is going to be right in there someplace. So that's going to be our 68, and of course that is a particular value of our um, pulse rate, so that's going to be an X score. So what we're going to need right there then is to begin to convert that to a Z score and move ahead. Now if you notice, we are very much in the same place that we were in when we did the problem called normal versus standard normal, because we have, first of all, our standard normal scores here. We have our normal scores here, and we have a particular X score here. Now what we're going to need to do then is to make that conversion to find out what Z score this X score represents. So we're going to do the very same thing we did on that earlier type, and we're going to use this formula. That Z is equal to X minus mu divided by sigma. Now in this case notice that our X score is 68. Our mu is 80 and sigma is 8. So we have that problem to do. Let's uh, hop over here to our trusty TI30XS and let's just do that problem. Let's use the fraction button. On the top of the fraction we'll go 68 minus 80. On the bottom of the fraction 8 and we'll calculate that. Let's turn that into a decimal and we see that our decimal value for z is negative 1.5. So z, negative 1.5. So down here in our z scores, we can see that that's about right. It's about halfway between the negative 1 and the negative 2. So our z is a negative 1.5. Now let's go back and look at the question that they asked us in Alex. 
Notice that it says what proportion, in other words, what decimal, what is the area under the curve for adults who have these pulse rates that are at most 68. So this 68 is the highest that it can be, which means that we are interested in this area over here. So the proportion that we want is the area under the curve. Notice that that is to the left of a z-score of a negative 1.5. And so right away, the button that tells us the area under the curve to the left of the z-score is the P of z button. And so what we can quickly do then is to hop back to our Alex calculator, take the P of Z less than a negative 1.5, and we should be good to go. So grab our calculator, hit the P of Z button, a negative 1.5, and that value should be 0 0.0668 and so on. They want four decimal places out of that, so the fourth decimal place is an 8, the fifth one is a 0, and so we will go 0.0. .0 Six six eight. Let's check and see if we have made Alex happy.